Anna, please unmute yourself and you may now start your speech. Before I start, is my voice clear? Yes, Anna Riva, your voice is clear. Humans are social creatures. We cannot help but want to fit in. We care about other people's opinion. At the same time, if we are going to care about other people's opinion, shouldn't it at least be the opinion of someone who is important to us? Like parents, their opinions matter. They are the ones who help build us up. But like two sides of a coin, they also wield the power to destroy us unintentionally. Ladies and gentlemen, we've all been children before. We've done silly things just to make our parents smile because seeing them smile makes us smile. Second grade, primary school. Nothing else made me happier than spending time with my mother. Even when she pushed me to study, I was still happy because I got to spend time with her. Eventually, I got first rank in class. At that moment, I realized I could achieve something. And I thought, this is it. This praise, approval, love, this makes them smile and it makes me smile. Fast forward a few years later, they stopped encouraging me. It didn't matter if I want anything. It just, it didn't mean much to them. Having faced a financial crisis hardened them. They told me to learn skills that could earn money. And to them, good grades, winning some English competitions, it doesn't earn money. But to me, I translated those words as a sign that I need to try harder. And so this time I went big. I joined a national essay writing competition held by an Australian university. Only six people in all of Indonesia would get the chance to win a one or two week scholarship. And, and I won. I hit jackpot. All of my friends congratulated me, but I only only wanted to hear, I'm proud of you from my parents. So I came home, I told my mom, she was happy for me. Whew. Okay, one more parent to go. Bah. I won an essay writing competition. I got a one week scholarship to Australia. If you're so good at writing, why didn't you just write for a magazine instead? At least that way you can earn some money. He didn't even say he was proud of me. Not even a smile, not even a congratulations. But Pa, I'm one of the six people in... No. How many times do I have to keep telling you to stop doing these useless things? Tears started to go down my face. Why did I try so hard all these years? Why was I so obsessed with making them happy, making them so proud of me, when it only took a few sentences to destroy me? I placed too much weight on his opinion, too busy chasing approval and validation that I didn't stop to look at myself and ask, is this what I want? Ladies and gentlemen, take this as an opportunity to ask yourself, is this what makes me happy? Am I living my life the way I want it to be? If yes, go for it. If no, stop and reconsider. Because when challenges destroy you, take it as an opportunity to rebuild yourself. After all, Rome was not built in one day because great things take time. Thank you.
Well, what an outstanding speech you have, Erica. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Mr. Danny Adrian for giving the feedbacks and questions. For Mr. Danny Adrian, time and place is yours. Thank you, Joseph. Right. Hi, Erica. Uh, I have to say that it's brave of you to share the story with us. I can agree that sometimes it is our own family that destroys us. Now, you mentioned that you have looked deeper and you have this newfound talent of writing and speaking. My question is, how will you use it for the future? Thank you. And Erika, you have 30 seconds to respond. Thank you, sir. I've discovered that I liked speaking and writing. The way I use it, I might not use it for, let's say, a professional career as a writer, but I'm going to use it for myself because now I know that I don't have to do those things just to make other people proud. I can just sit in front of my computer and start writing any story I like. I can use my skills right here, speaking, to communicate with you guys all right here. So I don't think I have to use it for something very big. I can use it just for myself. Thank you, sir. 